All right, Eric, next up was day one of Honeywell EEO training, a word with Mark Jewell. Uh, briefly, uh, you're going to tell us about it, and I can't wait to meet Mark. Uh, I, I, I love his participation with Control Trends, and he's he's getting behind us and uh, sharing our information with his community. But um, the sales information that I saw in his training course uh, is, I think, it's a, very important for everybody in the business to realize that you know there's new things going on, there's new technologies, and just as important, there's new sales techniques and there's new presentations and there's new styles. And the days of the PowerPoint are kind of fading; they're never going to go away completely. But you know, spreadsheets that are talking and, and going right to you know, connecting to uh, you know, videos and just there's a whole advanced level of selling that's that's happening around us and. Uh, one of the cool things I saw from Mark's video was just that sometimes we're aiming at the wrong people. We're, we're trying to sell energy efficiency in, in numbers and cents, and we're missing the biggest part of the person's is their heart and soul. They're losing money, but not just simply because they're not energy efficient. It's because they can't get something else done. And Eric, you're going to tell us uh, what, what, what is Mark's solutions? How does, it, how does Mark suggest you get around those barriers and get to the, the bottom of things that you can really help your customers? Well, uh, let me just start by saying we met Mark. Um, the first time he spoke at Honeywell Momentum, he has been hired by Honeywell to uh, work with their distributors and systems integrators. I mean, if they're, uh, I can give you, that's, to me, Honeywell has great products, but in and of itself, Kenny, I mean, just to have access to Mark Jewell is uh, is worth his weight and gold, that EEO program. So, you know, Mark does, uh, does day one of it. And hey, listen, let's just have Mark tell you a little bit about uh, day one with EEO. Mark? The, the day one is basically reframing the whole efficiency sale. So it's less about kilowatts, kilowatt hours in firms, and more about what the customer really cares about. Maybe it's productivity, maybe it's decreased scrap rate, maybe it's increased milk production, maybe it's something else that you really care about. It tethers the emotion to the decision and then backs up the financials. So it's a, it's a really packed edge. Yeah, and as you can tell, you know, Mark's uh, big thing is he's talking about, Kenny, he's talking about reframing. Uh, and I think one of the messages he took away is most of us as controls guys, we focus on the technical. And I think, you know, Kenny, if you think about one of the things we learned at uh, Ibicon Realcom with Jim Young and listening to the real estate people talk, I mean, it's not a one-person decision anymore. There are probably eight or nine people that are involved in making uh, the decision. Now, that is coming from... Uh, the, the, the real estate people like Daryl Smith uh, and some of the people we met at Realcom. So I think what Mark is really um, talking about is how do you talk to different people? And he says most people just get hung up on the technical and the energy savings. So uh, a lot of it is about, you know, how do you reframe? How do you sell? I don't want to give too much of this away because, uh, you know, Jack Connell put this program together and, and, you know, I view it and I think they view it as a real competitive advantage for, uh, you know, Honeywell Systems Integrators. But, uh, but hey, I, I did get a chance to catch up with Jack Connell, too. So, Jack, um, why do you guys do this? Tell us a bit about why you're doing this and, and what do you have to say about the uh, Honeywell EEO program. So, Energy and Environmental Optimization is a program designed to help contractors grow their business using energy as the, that value-based proposition as the way to go to that growth. Honeywell is interested in, in investing in helping the contractors to grow their business. That's basically the bottom line. Okay, so Kenny, I mean, I, I think you can see from what uh, what. Uh, Jack is saying that uh, they put a lot of time and energy into this and a lot of resources. It was a really, really good three days up there. Uh, there was no fluff. It was it was it was very rigorous. We all wound up having to do presentations. Uh, there were real live scenarios that we worked through. We had to go through not only the energy analysis but the business analysis and um, the payback analysis. And actually, you know, one of the things you'll learn there is simple payback is a fool's errand. So, you know, how do you talk internal rate of return, modified rate of return, um, those financial numbers, and how do those make sense? Uh, how do you look at somebody's lease to figure out how they can actually get these systems financed from their tenants? Uh, it's just a wealth of knowledge. These courses are filling up very, very quickly, uh, Kenny. So what I would recommend you do if you are a Honeywell Systems Integrator, reach out to your Honeywell Systems Integrator distributor. Tell them you're interested in attending one of these programs. And I think the flow sort of goes like you do the EEO. You get a day with Mark Jewell. Mark's not inexpensive. And that's kind of like going to college. And then if you're really crazy, uh, you can go on and get your master's degree and spend a week with Mark Jewell. Uh, but, but that guy is just amazing. He's awesome. So is Jack. So I can't say enough about this uh, program, Kenny. I, th I think this is the difference now is going to be the people that can communicate 
the value and not just the energy savings, but the value of a system. And Honeywell has done a great job of putting this in a frame that's going to give you a huge competitive advantage. So be sure to reach out to your local Honeywell systems integrator distributor. Get to one of these classes. Thank you.